That sets the end point of our throttle at the bottom and the top, so our throttle range is now all the way through the stick. Hey, what's up and welcome back to Motion RC. Today we are doing another quick tip that can be really helpful when you're setting up your model. Now, whether you have a propeller driven flight line model or an EDF from our free wing line of jets, they all have this exact same feature where you need to do a throttle calibration. Now today on the bench, I have a Spectrum radio and I have a Futaba radio from us. Uh, and I'm gonna show you that you can do this with either radio system uh, and the steps are the same, whether it's a prop or an EDF. Now, the first thing I will tell you for safety is always go on ahead and take that propeller off of your propeller driven airplanes. This requires plugging in at full throttle and if there were to be any reason that this motor were to take off on full throttle, like this 6S Corsair here, it would go flying across the room and really hurt somebody. So let's just go on and do safety first. On the EDF, the, the impeller and everything is inside, so you don't have to worry about it. But like I said, on your 6S or any other type of Warbird that's gonna have a big prop, take that off. All right, so let's start with the Corsair. To do a throttle calibration is a very simple uh, setup. You're gonna go full throttle on your transmitter with it on, airplane unplugged. At this point, we're going to plug in the model and listen for the beeps. Here we go. Then we're gonna to go to zero throttle. And then it does its calibration. That sets the end point of our throttle at the bottom and the top, so our throttle range is now all the way through the stick. Now we can do the same thing over on our Futaba system, and once again, it's gonna be the same way whether it's Futaba or Spectrum, but just to show you on this EDF also, let's open our bay up. We're gonna to go to full throttle. We're gonna plug in and listen for the beeps. Throttle to zero. And now we've successfully calibrated our ESC on this model. All right, now that you know how to perform an ESC calibration, let's talk about some of the situations that this can actually resolve. So when you get your model and get it all bound up, sometimes you're gonna hear it sitting there just beeping. Now let me show you what I'm talking about. Hear that sound? That means that there is throttle engaged and the airplane will not arm. You can always solve this once again. Full throttle, plug in the airplane, throttle to zero, and now we've recalibrated. Now, as you can see, it works and it gets rid of that beeping noise. All right, so that gets our ESCs all calibrated on our Flightline and Freewing models. Hey, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Leave us a comment down below. Tell us any quick tip videos you'd like to see. And don't forget, Motion RC has something for everyone, whether it's land, sea, or air. So keep coming back, check us out, hit that link, and get you a sweet RC product today. See you in the next one, guys. Bye.